Look, I get it. Started lifting when I was 18, and you wanna make everything, you don't wanna spin your wheels, you wanna optimize everything, so you're, what do we call it? Majoring in the minors, right? So we, we, we instead of thinking of our diet, our sleep, the things that are gonna make us a strong lifter, uh, have a good physique in the long term, which are boring, not sexy, but they're the truth, we're focusing in on the minors, our supplements, uh, tanning my balls in the sun, not masturbating before I work out, and everyone's favorite topic, knee sleeves, belts, wraps, which one's the magic pill. And in this video today, we're gonna dive in. I'm gonna give you my honest review from a guy who's been powerlifting 15 years. I've created and worked in the equipment industry for over eight years, and I've tried nearly every knee sleeve on the sun, and here's our review. What the hell are we doing? A fit check, dude. That's the fit check? That's not a fit check, that's a, that's a runway walk this guy good company good company good company good company all right dude oh sorry sorry Who's sorry. Sexualizing the content sorry, now? sorry 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 dude, that's sexual undefeated one of my favorite companies one of my favorite tees just an old basketball tee they made that's kind of nice no it's clean uh some Reeboks that basically are like sambas indoor soccer shoes just clean oh the 3sb you can't get those no more y'all kids effed up what up, i got dude? the what question up? of the day though you ready Let's hear it. All right, you have to choose a good food, a food that you actually enjoy, that you truly enjoy, like top, top two tier foods that you like, you know? Okay. And you got to get rid of one. Oh. That's good, right? Just because. Just because I make the rules, yeah. I know, but like, what's the alternative? It's he never like, had an imagination. No, so like, <laughs> usually you say like, do you want hot dogs for nipples or nipples for fucking? <laughs> no, this is or this isn't a would you rather. No, what is it? Dicks for dicks for nipples or truth, nipples for dicks? Truth for Dale. <laughs> yeah, it's just like one or the other. This no, one's just like just no. pick your two you, things you and have get to, rid of it. No, okay, or you die. How's that? Okay. You fucking die, or you have to choose one to delete. I'll die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting rid of know. all food. The main one I could think of is like a. I have like a, a really good, like pulled pork sandwich. You're just gonna delete it. Well, no, that's one of them. I'm just saying, I don't know if I want to get rid of that. I got stuff. mine, and it's a, a little cheeky. I think of these questions like in the shower, you know? Soaping up. I'm like, oh, I'm going to get Kyle today. <laughs> Are you ready for mine? Go. Calzones. Calzone? Trash. If you put a calzone in front of me, I'm banging that thing. It's so well, good. Yeah. So good, though. They're good. They're, They're good. really fucking good. Yeah. But it's an easy... Now I'm in pizza world. I'll just have a pizza instead. Yeah, see, that's cheating. No, no, that's good. That's genius. Genius. What's your second one then? Second one, hamburgers. Well, that's not controversial. That's controversial. You basically said pizza or hamburgers. That's no. not that controversial. No. Well, you know, if you want to dig into this thing and I'm signing my life away, because then I can still eat a cheeseburger. Different item. good sleep you know you, you never go wrong um but we'll, we'll talk about it after but i think i think all of the equipment games a little overrated in general um but it seems like a really good sleep seems like a really good sleep yeah yeah true true which are crazy to think about because I know a lot of you guys may be a little bit newer and some of you OGs have been kicking with me for a while. Knee sleeves are kind of a new thing in powerlifting. Um, and I know that sounds crazy because all your favorite lifters are using them and talking about them. And the latest to throw their hat in the ring is Inzer. Back in the day, Inzer had a sleeve, but it was more of a fabric sleeve than a neoprene. And so it wasn't allowed in raw competitions. But now, the internet's spoken, TikTok's taken off, your favorite powerlifter's wearing the Inzer sleeve and I wanted to try them out. Um, I would like to say this is anecdotal and I'm a little bit of a hater on equipment in general. Um, I don't think a knee sleeve is going to make or break your performance and it's not even going to make or break your PR. Everything we have has a small learning curve um, and a lot of it comes down to comfortability. Um, if there was one piece of equipment that made everybody PR, black and white, 
then there wouldn't be multiple brands on the market being used. It's just that fact, right? If SBD hypothetically added 20 pounds to your, to your squat and no other company was even close, other brands wouldn't survive in the free marketplace. That's just kind of um, how it works, right? So let's start off with that. Second thing is when I use the Inzer, shout out to our boy Seabass, editor, filmographer, King Honcho here at 3rd S- 3SB. He'll welcome you guys in with open arms. Um, what do you call that? A utility player. He does everything. Um, he let me use his Inzers. Um, so my SPDs, because I don't like to haggle with things, are like an XL or 2XL, and his Inzers are medium. So putting that out there, they're obviously going to feel much tighter on my knees. Having said that, the Inzers felt really good. Um, I haven't worn a really tight knee sleeve and I haven't worn a new knee sleeve in a very long time. Uh, I use the SPDs. My SPDs are probably three years old now. Um, and the wear and tear is, is moderate. I don't squat with crazy frequency and I was obviously building the gym and COVID so that took some time off. But the Inzers really did, to me, feel like a light wrap. And when I say that, I mean the sensation I felt on my knee. I don't mean that in the sense of the rebound out of the hole. A lot of people say stuff like that and they don't define it. So they say, oh yeah, dude, feels like I'm in a squat suit. But a squat suit can give you like 300 pounds on your squat. That's not what I'm saying. Um, They felt quite restrictive in in a supportive way. Um, They felt very grippy. Uh, A lot of people who haven't trained in knee wraps um, won't understand, but knee wrap squatters call it a bite, like the wraps kind of bite you. And I could feel that bite around my knee, especially in the back, which um, probably means it's doing something on the rebound. Uh, but I don't think, again, at the end of the day, it's going to give you, you know, 20, 30, 40 pounds of, of you know, PR. Uh, I think they're great. It seems like they're highly durable. They fit well. I know everyone's complaining about putting knee sleeves on. It's the same game to me if you roll them properly and, and fold them up. And then getting them off, my tip is, this is actually a good example. Now I got these three quarters on. People try to rip straight from the top, but by the time you've already trained, this part of the knee sleeve will dig into your leg a little bit. What I suggest doing is pulling that bottom of the knee sleeve down, even just a quarter inch, giving it one of these guys, and then kind of like rip, ripping a Band-Aid, taking that top off and ripping it down. There's a billion tutorials online about people talking about folding it to get them on, but if you're not sweaty and you're getting them on, for most people, it's pretty easy to get them off. Getting them off is a little bit, or sorry, it's easy to get them on. Getting them off is a little bit more difficult. So there's a suggestion for that. Overall, right now, if we were to do a tier, which it's not popular in fitness, we should make it a thing, Seabass. Tier list? Yeah, but in tier lists, everywhere else are popular, right? Movies, gaming, food, everyone does it, but no one does it in powerlifting for some reason or fitness. Uh, maybe we'll do a tier list of equipment companies, which would be fun. But right now, what's S tier is the highest? Yeah. I would probably say Inzer is an S tier sleeve. SPD is on the edge of A plus and S tier. I can't decide yet. Um, and then we're probably going, you know, A tier, B tier. I'd probably throw the slingshot in the, in the, uh, Stoics, um, for the big brands. That's probably where I'm at right now. I'll probably need a little bit more time with the Inzers to give a final call, but that's where we stand at today. Hope that helped you guys out. I'm not sponsored, affiliated with any of those companies. Um, so that's just an honest review to give it to you from a guy that's been in the industry a very long time. If you like these videos, a little bit of entertainment, a little education, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to share it out. New videos every single week, man. Join our Discord. Links in the bio. Like-minded community. Early access to all of our gear. You get the first drops. A lot of exclusives and giveaways happen for our apparel. Um, I hope to see you guys in Discord. I'm in there every day chatting. I hope you guys have a good one. We'll see you later.